Hello, my name's Colin Adams, and I'm about to show you my strategy for beating the Chu Shogi program Hachu version 0.18. It's not a surefire strategy, it's not the only one you can play. I've seen stronger players beat it without a special strategy, but this is how I do it. Um, I move my lion to 5F rather than 5G because I want to oppose my lion with his lion and I would prefer to be on the sixth file, uh, the G file rather than the F file uh, and I've discovered from experience that it always plays to the other file so this is how I get to oppose it as we shall now see and that's the position I'm aiming at Quite often plays bishops out like this. Don't you do the same? It's not a very good idea. And now I'm starting to play an opening which I call the twin si silver opening, uh, which Mumio Jose invented specifically for playing against Hachu. But my style is somewhat different from his. And although I use this style against this opening against humans, I use a slightly different style against Hachu to take advantage of it, as we shall see. There's the twin silvers. From here I control the centre, uh, which makes it very difficult for it to attack me. So I'm, I'm trying to keep control all the time to avoid getting caught in complications. I've moved the copper up early to avoid uh, problems if it's moves its b-file pawn up to attack my dragon horse. The timing of that can be difficult. In fact I'm largely playing ma ma waiting moves now to see how it's going to play. I want it to wait moves on edge pawns, which it usually does. But with that bishop on 9L it will be difficult for it to advance that edge pawn, so I'm just waiting. There's a waiting move, building the castle. And this is typical in the twin silvers to move that, that one up to re restrict its line further. And that's most of the formation I'm aiming at. If I have the other copper on the other side, then that's the, what I consider to be the perfect centre. Now since my copper's out of the way, I don't mind retreating the dragon horse there. Here comes one of its pawn advances. I prefer it when it, when it does it on the other side, but because of the phoenix. Anyway, I haven't got my phoenix in position yet. Because of the bishop, I can't just move my go-between out, so I have to get the copper up first to support it. So that's what I'm doing now. And it's passed. Since most of its strategy moves are rubbish, it uh, passes as good as anything, but <laughs> not quite. There, this is to develop the phoenix. Now the copper's supporting it, I can play that. Now it tends to make these moves with the reverse chariot, which are just time wasting moves. It might make a lot of them if I'm lucky. There's my Phoenix. Now I've got my perfect set. This is the setup I'm aiming for in my strategy with the twin silvers. That's against humans as well as computers, but humans will rarely let me do this. Develop the free king to the rear. It'll go to the K file later 
support it. So that's an unusually good move from the computer in strategy wise. Now I start to castle. Oh, it's moved its line now, to be careful. No problem that I can see yet. That's my castle. Drunk elephant on that square rather than in front of the king because it means only one blind tiger is is blind against a pin against the king. So the lion attack can only come from one side. I don't want to take that go between because it brings its lion in. So I'm trying to keep things tight. Since it won't advance its uh, own edge pawn, I actually advance mine. Normally this pawn and side move but is a uh, good strategy. But it, it playing against the bot, I don't play it because I wait wait for it to advance its own pawn and waste moves. But it's not going to do that with the bishop on, on 9L, so I have to eventually move myself. So I'm preparing to advance the K wild pawn. Normally I do it as a counter attack against the bot, but it's not as I said it's not moved its L file pawn this time. Oh, 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 oh that's a dragon king, not a free king, so it's not attacking me. Doesn't seem to be doing anything much. Yeah. Maybe it finally wants to move its pawn, which will suit me. Yes, it does. Because I get to attack its reverse chariot and gain a move. Uh, now, can I just hit the bishop? Yes, I can. But this is a strategy I wouldn't play against humans, but against the bot it works well, advancing the side mover. <laughs> Yes, I have to retreat the lion. I can bring it into play on the flank though. The twin silvers are very flexible and, and, and those three generals there basically mean I control the centre and therefore my pieces are more mobile than his. I should say it's. I suppose the bot is sexless. So, the exchange of a, rever of a lance for a, a side mover is in itself good, but because I get to promote my lance, or should do, it's bad. And that's what my strategy is based on. But uh, If there was a danger of his lion coming in, then I'd rather have the side mover, but my, my centre is keeping it well at bay at the moment. So here I go merrily on. Now already I could swap the lance for the bishop, which since he swapped his lance for a side mover, that means I swapped side mover for the bishop, which is a definite plus. So I'm ahead of on material. Only a small lead though. Uh, version 0.18 plays better than 0.17 and I'd generally re be able to get a big advantage from my edge attacks. I've noticed the stronger players such as um, Blind Tiger, White Horse and Careful uh, make, build up their attacks more slowly so when they do get the breakthrough it, it counts more. I think I've got a bit, bit complacent playing against the bot. Anyway, I'm just going up on the edge. Because of it it's congestion, it can't transfer pieces onto the edge as quickly as I can. So I can funnel my Dragon Kings over and promote them. But here's the lion coming up. It feels compelled to stop me eating its go-between and therefore the Phoenix can no longer defend the vertical mover. So I'll swap the vertical movers off. Oh -ho 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 -ho. 
let's go raiding. And uh, the idea is to get a soaring eagle. And he's trying to stop me, but uh, not very well. I think it doesn't know what to do. Now we have to be careful. If I take it, the lion takes and it's getting closer. If I don't, the lion's taking me. Ah, oh, I forgot I've got those. <laughs> That's a very strong sensor. Usually I wouldn't promote the uh, ferocious leopard. I'd just use it to capture the side mover, but here the side mover's got freedom and I can harass its dragon king. At least I could if it, if it wasn't pinning me against my lion. Sucking tidies up. So we've got a nice lead now, and it should just be a mopping up operation. Try and promote the Phoenix. It's slow, but all its bits are congested on the third rank. It can't get bits over, so it can't stop me. Very strange that it plays that move. It must be a, I don't know, just a delay, just a horizon effect. Anyway, I've got the free king now, so I'm way, way ahead. It's difficult to see how you can lose this position, but I've played some bad blunders before. I get a horned falcon now as well. Appear to have uh, forced forced it to play a decent combination. I suppose I should have taken that key ring and let him take my pawn, but uh, I get it anyway. Now my copper's only protected by my lion. Lions enough. Uh, the copper's protected by the free king. It's attacked by the lion and free king, so I need to protect it. Sacrifice. Good job I got lots of material ahead.
No, it must have seen a mate there if it takes the soaring eagle. Um, it may just have been a blunder. I hadn't seen a mate. At least I don't remember. tie things up are so far ahead that as long as they keep things tight it's a very easy win. Unless you start blundering your lions, fortunately I, I, I can afford to let it uh, take uh, promoted copper and lion. In fact I think I now force it to. No? What, what have I done there? No, I, I'm a uh, not allowing it to. I'll swap it for the gold. No, it doesn't want to do that. What I want to do is capture its bishop, dragon king, and vertical mover and dragon horse. Then it can't attack me. And if it can't attack me, I can't. I can't make a mistake. Ooh! Unless it tries to attack me with a side mover, I can always take that off though at any time with my reverse chariot. No need to yet. Got this incredibly strong generals on. Because there's no pawn on that pile, the two silvers protect each other, and the gold sort. Copper is also protecting them. Very strong shape when there's no no opposing pawn. Mm, nasty lion. You can only eat a pawn though at best. As it does. Can I drive it away again? the bishop as well. So I let it uh, take uh, my Soren Eagle with the Dragon King and because it makes life easier for me in this particular case it just can't attack me. Voluntarily swaps that off. Oh, that's very kind. Now it's only attacking pieces left of, of, of the uh, bishop and vertical mover. So absolutely swamp it. Wow, oh, I've got this lion fired up. Now, that was a problem. I'm playing on my new laptop. It's got this touchpad. I wasn't, I wasn't using a plug-in mouse. And every now and again, things go wrong. So that was supposed to take the side mover. Fortunately for me, I'm so far ahead it doesn't make any difference. And, and also, it can't get the side mover away. said it can't get the side mover away. I can still take it with a reverse chariot. But we'll see if we can do better. Take it with a copper instead. Ooh, what was that? It took my silver. Yeah. Suppose I I promote my reverse chariot now. I'm having a whale of a time. Wow. You can't even 
even promote that. So. Let's have a white horse as well. Attack the lion and king. The king moves. Off with the last attacking piece but one. So let's see if we can get a second line. Yeah, uh, it's just uh, staving off the, the mate now. In fact, it passes. It can't do much. All its bits are tied down, we'll get a second line. And there's the mate, it resigns. We can play lion to e10 mate. Either line to e10, mate. If it didn't take, right? The alternative is, yeah, well, lion mate at the head of the blind tiger is is easiest. Well, that's how I play against against the bot.